Well, happy Friday to you. Welcome to another bipolar edition of the Jim of All Trades <laughs> channel. Glad you were with me. Bipolar, yes. <laughs> Why? Why? I had a comment like that yesterday in my uh, <laughs> in the comments on uh, on YouTube. So uh, yeah, you who put the comment, thanks, bro. It was awesome. Uh, it was pretty funny. But it's true. Uh, you know, sometimes the market will do that to you, and we're just honest here on this channel about what the markets do. And uh, let's just take a minute and look at the charts today. Let's look at BTC. Let's look at uh, LTC and Ethereum, and uh, let's just see what's going on. Don't forget, this isn't financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a bipolar chart chartist uh, looking uh, looking to try to figure out this market, just like you are. I use Elliott Wave to uh, interpret the market. So what I'm going to give you is what I'm seeing from an Elliott Wave perspective, using Elliott Wave rules and what we expect at, from those patterns. Now, I will share several possibilities with you. I will tell you what I'm seeing based on what I have in the charts. As more information comes in, I may alter that opinion. So, that being said, I am uh, that's that's what I'm offering to you is technical analysis from the uh, Elliott Wave perspective. Of course, I don't know what's going to happen. Of course, it could go up and it could go down. So, uh, let's just hey hey let's have some fun today. Let's have some fun in the comments today. Let's put some really really snarky comments to, to TA. Let's uh, you know let's just all the comments that you see where people just don't believe in TA and they have the nasty comments to make. Let's uh, let's put some really snarky comments about TA in the comments today, and let's have some fun with that. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, let's look at the charts. We're getting actually a move right here on camera uh, to the downside here. It looks like uh, Litecoin is moving down, and, as well as uh, Bitcoin. I'm I'm watching this uh, trend line down here. We'll see what we get. But uh, okay, here's the difficulty of what we've got, and let me just show you what I'm seeing. And uh, we'll jump in, okay? So this is Bitcoin. This is the 30-minute uh, chart. And this is basically just showing the, the latest move. It is triangular, okay? So this is uh, very uh, triangular in shape. Uh, what I mean by that is that it looks like a triangle, right? And so the question is, does it follow triangle rules? And yesterday's video uh, about the midnight video, it says urgent um trade update uh, I wanted to put that out that we have a potential triangle in the works and if it is a triangle and it's following all the triangle rules then this has to be in the place of a B wave or it has to be in the place of a four wave um, and so the question is does this triangle uh, is it taking place in the place of a four wave um, and so if we back out it is in a very good spot to be a four wave for sure um, let me show you so generally, when we measure the Fib extensions from the 1 to the 2 wave, uh, the top of 3 comes to the 1618. You can see that we have uh, wicked right up to the uh, top of 1618. So this looks like a nice 3 wave, and we're coming down for 4. And so a lot of times, triangles are in a 4 wave. Now listen, triangles can break up or they can break down. Uh, many times, uh, they will break up and out. Or sometimes they'll break down first and then go on up and so uh, so there's two ways triangles can break out so it is looking like to me a triangle and let's see if it's it's following the rules now the rules of a triangle basically are that every wave needs to be three waves here's my problem my my difficulty in what's formed right now is that doesn't look like three waves I don't know if you remember yesterday I said this doesn't look like three waves well what they did what the market makers did is uh, they they altered the uh, the dimensions of that triangle and it became three waves look what we've got we've got a clear three waves there clear three waves there and now here's one two three waves there so we've got three waves a b c now we're looking for a d wave and notice uh notice that this hasn't um touched the bottom of this here uh you know is this d uh, it's not very three wavish, number one, but does it matter? Uh, listen, the rules are that it needs to be three waves. It generally needs to, but sometimes uh, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Um, but uh, we don't know for certain. Now, uh, so yeah, it's looking uh, very good to the upside. And so what I would be watching as a trader is I want to see a move that comes and it breaks out from here, um, from here past this trend line to the upside. I would like to see that. Then what I would like to see is a pullback to the trend line. I would like to see that as well. Once I see that, and then we get a bounce, that is our entry point, ladies and gentlemen. That would be the, that's how we generally play a breakout of a triangle. Now, if you want to get a little bit more risky with your entry, you enter the trade down here. It's not a bad place to enter that trade as we think about it. Why? Because really, 
if it go, comes down and breaks the line down this way, well, your stop loss is just underneath of this trend line. Okay, it's just underneath of it, uh, uh, long enough to, to withstand a stop hunt. So you just want to make sure that you put it low enough down here that uh, even if you get a stop hunt to the low and then it goes up, you got to be careful because sometimes you'll get that. Now here's what I'm thinking: if we break to the downside, I'm thinking we're going to break down uh, potentially to about the 1100, 100, 11, 1, 11,000 dollar mark right down here, and then head up. And what that would give us is a big basically A, B. C okay uh, you know basically and the and the triangle would actually be in the B position of this four wave it, it would really be definitely uh, technically it would be a W X okay Y and so that's a potential and I want you to be aware of that so if the triangle breaks to the downside most likely we're getting we're getting that W X Y um, in this four wave and that would make sense. We could come down here to the 11,000 mark, uh, 11, uh, maybe the 10,800 even. In that ballpark, we'd be coming down in this region. Let me go ahead and mark it. Okay. Now, how do we know that? We put the fibs and we measure the first wave. Well, let's try it again. Let's put the fibs, measure the first wave to the second wave. Brings us down here to our target between 11,000 and 10,700, and that would bring us to a W X Y, something like that. Okay, uh, so that's a that's a potential way that this triangle could play out, and then from there, I would expect the fifth wave uh, to take off from there. So that's that's a strong potential. I I like that as a potential. Uh, wave possibility. So I, do I know that that's going to happen? Absolutely not. And I'm not pretending to know that that's going to happen. But it's something I'm going to be watching for. What are going to be the telltales if that happens? Well, we're going to break this trend line down here and substantially come on down. If we do, I'll be watching this level right here for an entry point, And that'll be a nice for a trade for the upside. Now, what if we get a break to the upside? What do we do? I've already kind of explained that, but let me explain it again. If we get the break to the upside and this... Uh, this uh, this is the triangle here. Uh, we get the break here, wait for the pullback, and you're off, okay? Uh, that's a good entry point there for the triangle. Now, if you want to be trading something else, if you want to be trading Litecoin or Ethereum, you might want to wait till this breakout happens uh, to give you the signal they're going up because that'll give you, because the Litecoin and Ethereum charts are a little bit more scary than Bitcoin's chart is okay all right so that's Bitcoin that's what I'm looking for those are the two plays that I can see playing out at this stage um, I, I I still see bullish upside um, because of this triangle um, because of this three waves it's looking more to the upside to me uh, than it is to the downside uh, so I'm somewhat moving off of the potential that we might be having lower lows uh, in this correction. I'm not off of it yet completely, but it's less of a likelihood to me. Um, so it's less of a likelihood that we have this A, B, C, D, and E. I, I It's right now I'm not feeling uh, that we're going to get this leg to the downs. Well, I'm trying so hard to click on that thing. I'm not. I don't think we're gonna get this leg to the downside. I. That doesn't mean I'm correct in what I'm feeling. It's just I'm. I'm less as the more Bitcoin stays this bullish, um, the way it's acting, the less and less likely it's going to be. Okay. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, I am seeing something here that uh, just as we zoom out that I didn't see on the smaller time frame. Um, actually, no, never mind. I, I'm wrong about that. I'm wrong about that. Forget that. So, uh, totally forget that thought. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's take a peek at, uh, Litecoin and Ethereum. Uh, let's look at Ethereum first because what we have is this, uh, major trend line from, all uh, this see this I don't know if you can see it see this red line all the way down here well it is I want to show you now that red line uh, on on the 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 near term chart here it is we are knocking on the door now 
something you'll notice I have my fibs here we've come down to the 1276 and we've reached this trend line it is strong support right there with the, a fib support and a trend line support there is a good possibility we see an up move that makes me think if if that's the case that makes me think that uh, Bitcoin is probably going to break to the upside as well because if Bitcoin comes all the way down here um, it, it's it's not as likely in my mind for Ethereum to be there because Ethereum would have to come down with it and it would break this trend line strong in a strong fashion um, and I suppose it could but if it comes past this low let me put a yellow line of death here uh, if, if it comes past this low we would definitely 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 be looking down to the downside rather than to the upside um, I still think that this measures uh, correctively that this is actually very motive like though it's a slow start but this could be the one two of the three wave and we're about to take off that's a possibility and it's still in play even though we had this down move we have not broken the low uh, the low here of the wave one of this third wave so we could still see this upside I'm still watching for that uh, when does that wait when does the one two three uh, when does the third wave become invalidated when we break this low right here when we break that low okay so that's what we're looking for there we don't want to break this low we got a red line of death we got a yellow line of death these are our um, these are going to be our um, you know our <laughs> We're going we're gonna to try to stop that wave, okay? All right, so we need to see a nice substantial bounce. Um, we just had a little wick down here. We might still have a test of this trend line. Um, chances are Litecoin, uh, chances are what I'm seeing in the waves is this. Um, let me, so um, I'm seeing an A, a B, and I'm seeing one, two, three. I need a four wave here and then a five coming down. It might be a double bottom or just below, just wicking below, and then we move on up. That's kind of what I see as a potential. I could be wrong on that. Again, whenever I try to uh, project these small moves, I'm just guessing, guys, based upon the, the number of waves that I see there and the wave count. So, uh, yeah, don't uh, you know, don't hold me to that. I'm not pre you know saying that as gospel. Um, but if we measure the fibs here... We came down to the 1618, so we've got a 1, 2, 3 wave here. Should have a 4 wave that should come up to this region, 218, 219 in that ballpark, and a 5 wave to come retest this bottom. If uh, if that 5 wave substantially, um, it shouldn't substantially break this line, should stay within our, our range here, but uh, if we get that, if that's what we get at all. We could be at a bottom right now, but it's looking like there might need to be a retest of this line. That's my thought. So if we bounce here and we go to the upside, uh, what are the targets? Um, well, they're exciting. I'll tell you that. I just hope we get it. Sorry, I went to the wrong time frame. There we go. Um, remember, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping along with you. I don't control the market. I don't have knowledge. I just have Elliott Wave Theory in my in my belt, and I can use that to kind of interpret what's happening. All right, so if that's a 1, and this is 2, we're looking, man, this is an awful 1, 2 of a 3 wave. Uh, we're probably looking at 319 for the top of, uh, for the top of a 3 wave. Yeah, well, shoot. There we go. So uh, I would look for a, a 319, an extended third wave, as a, as a potential. Um, so yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'd be looking at some major upside there. So uh, let's 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 hope that that's the case. Um, we'll watch that. We'll watch for that scenario. All right. Let's look at Litecoin as well. See what we can see there in that chart. Litecoin's the hardest for me right now. We are riding this trend line right here. This is a the major macro trend line from down here uh, where we're coming down to it we have a potential of coming down to about eighty two dollars still I'm still I'm still seeing possibly one more push down to this trend line to about eighty two dollars eighty three dollars in that ballpark this yellow line of death I forget where that what that's marking oh it's marking this area right here uh, that might be good uh, support air region excuse me ah Sorry, first yawn of the video. All right, uh, we should we should play a game, guys. Uh, whoever whoever can uh, uh, tag the first the first yawn of the video uh, in the uh, the timestamp of it uh, gets a prize. I don't know what the prize will be, but let's play the game. 
uh, it'll be you win the internet if you get that. So uh, yeah, so uh, whatever timestamp that was on, put it in the comments uh, and tell me when I yawned, okay? Uh, and maybe we can play another game. Count we can count the yawns as well. How many yawns do we have this in today's video? And whoever gets that number correct, uh, maybe we'll put your name in a pot to win a prize. Again, I don't know what you're gonna get yet. Uh, we'll see though. That sounds like some fun, guys. So yeah, we got comments today. We got snarky comments about TA. Uh, we got yawn comments. Let's just have some fun joking on Jim on this Friday. Uh, and let's see if this market can move. I'm hoping the market makers are just making everything look down right now so they just pop it up for our trade that we've been waiting on for weeks. It would be so nice for that to happen. Um, I would like the price not to uh, decrease beyond $83 here. $83, I would like it not to decrease there. <laughs> that would be my request if uh, if, if I could make such a request. Uh, that, that would be a nice one-two wave of the third and we'd be popping up really fast. Uh, for the third wave guys we might be setting up for a really big up move but here's the deal we could be setting up for a big down move so just be careful but again let's just take all the uh, data that we have here we've got a lot of trend line support we have a lot of fib support on both ethereum litecoin and bitcoin uh, Bitcoin is looking like she's making a triangle in the fourth wave. It's looking like she needs to go up. My take on this right now as we're thinking about it is that we're probably going to be going to the upside. Okay. But, uh, and again, I've been feeling that, but man, I, I am, this is the bipolar edition. So I, I want to remind you, I do not know, and I don't have a crystal ball. Hope you guys have had fun listening to this TA. It's a big, I don't know right now, but I've given you some things to be looking for. Uh, trade smart, please use stops. If you're not feeling the trade, get out of it, to protect your money because you need your money to purchase if price goes any lower. All right, guys, you guys have a fantastic Friday. Leave a like, subscribe share some love in the comments actually no share some hate share some snarky comments and let's have some fun uh talk to you guys later let me leave you with one more yawn uh, don't forget to time stamp it all right <laughs> i'm i'm a little uh full of myself today just having some fun with you hope you enjoyed it as well talk to you later